Well, hey there guys, and welcome to another Pickup Leftovers. In this Pickup Leftovers, I'm going to show you some retro games, some vintage toys that I picked up, but we're also going to go over the contest, the giveaway for my 5,000 subscribers celebration. So, let's go. It's actually been a while since Pickup Leftovers. I've been busy. What have I been up to? I've been putting out a couple videos. I mean, I've been putting out two videos each week. Um, most of them have been quite heavy editing wise, so that's why Pickup Leftovers got pushed and pushed the whole time. I, I, I wanted to do this giveaway the right way and really have some cool prizes for you guys to win and that's what we're gonna get into right after I tell you where I'm gonna be at what conventions I'm gonna be hitting up next first up is going to be Comic-Con Brussels where I will be joining Stefano his boot on Saturday I will have my t-shirts out but I won't be selling any doubles there I will be making a video out there I will be there all day on Saturday so you know drop by say hi and get yourself one of these cool t-shirts out there. Comic-Con Brussels is on the 22nd of February and one week later we have on the 1st of March on Sunday Game Walhalla the convention in Arscott. This is my hometown. It's the eighth time they're organizing it. It's always really good, really packed. There's a ton of retro games and usually a bit of vintage toys out there. The next convention I'm gonna hit up is in the Netherlands. It's in Skeedum. It's the Retro Game Burst in Skeedum. This one is taking place on Sunday the 29th of March and I'm hoping to see lots of familiar faces out there in Holland. Then on the 4th of April we have Pixel Days. This year it's gonna be a two-day event but I'm only gonna be there on Saturday I will be there all day with my boots so come by and say hi I do have uh, a special appearance I'm gonna make on the 6th of June at vintage toys of the universe the uh, retro toy convention I'm gonna be handing out some prices as well because they're doing a contest too so definitely check that out and uh, yeah Try, try getting these prices. And then of course, in October, I'm heading back to Texas. I'm gonna be at the three day Retro Palooza convention. It's gonna be awesome. And then let's talk about the giveaway because we're doing a giveaway for my 5K subscriber celebration. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I can't wait to show you the prices you're gonna be able to win right now. All right, hey guys, we're here at Game Walhalla for our first prize. Kuhn was so kind to provide us and sponsor me with a, a nice looking bundle right here. First prize is gonna consist of this pixel frame with Sonic, one of my childhood favorite games over here. And you'll also be able to get this Mega Drive 8 button arcade pad, which is wireless. You can plug it into your Mega Drive Classic, you can plug it into an original system too. So yeah, thanks so much Kuhn. You're welcome. How are you doing today? Uh, fine. Be tired as you are. <laughs> Alright, awesome. I really need to visit this store a lot more because, I mean, I live right... I live like 10 minutes away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we should do a video here. But yeah, thanks so much for sponsoring us and uh, we'll, we'll let you know who wins. Okay. So these are the lovely prices that Kuhn is giving away from Game Walhalla. Definitely enter this contest, guys. The second prize comes from Javaho Creations, who has a Instagram page which you can check out all of his custom work. He's currently working on the Bonifrox for me from the TMNT toy line. I gave him four and he's repainting them like the cartoon, but he's actually made a special custom 5.5 Motu inspired Mario for this giveaway. So there's only one in existence and you're gonna be able to win this. Thanks Javao and Jeffrey for adding this and sponsoring us. The last thing comes from my own collection and it is my double copy of Gargoyles Quest 2, one of my favorite games on the NES and this price is gonna get uh, uh, is gonna be one of the prices you can pick out of. So great game, great platforming, 
game with some RPG elements in it. So this is definitely one you're going to want to be playing. So these are the three prices. What I am going to do is ask you to thumbs up the video because if we get to 200 likes on this video, I'm going to be adding a shirt to each and every one of these three prices. Plus, I'm going to pick out a random person who is going to win just a shirt. How do you enter this contest? Entering the contest has got to be free. I'll be sending off and paying for the shipping internationally so whether you live in the USA where you live in Japan wherever you can enter I will take care of all the shipping and of all the costs apart from if customs you know hold it back and try charging you that's something that's out of my control I won't be able to help you out with that but I, I don't think that's gonna happen now what do you need to do you need to like the video you need to share the video on your socials just you know use your Instagram stories I'll be uh, posing So yeah, use those screenshots, pop them in your Instagram stories, be sure to tag me on Instagram at @retrogeekout, or you know, just use the hashtag retrogeekout. Use your Facebook, just share the video, and leave a comment down below saying you want to win, and leave an idea for a video down below. If you don't have an idea, um, just leave something like, do a top 10 NES, do a top 10 Turtles uh, toys, do a, a new Attic Invaders, or just do another behind the collection. Just leave a comment with an idea about me, uh, with an idea for me to do a video about. Then it'll go into the big pot and I will pick out three or four if we hit 200 likes winners out there. So you guys know what to do to win all this stuff and uh, yeah move it out the way. Pickups, because that's why you're all here. The first pickup is actually from Kuhn. Uh, I was over at his shop and he had a couple of these mutations, uh, well actually turtles, um, little manuals for, for, for like the toys. These, these used to come in like a, a turtle on a blister or the mutations that came in boxes. Uh, so this is the National Turtle Quiz Joke Book. These are usually very, very good. You got um, some stuff like, why does Shredder always carry a soap bar? So he can make a clean getaway. <laughs> These are really bad guys. What what the frick were they thinking over at Playmates? Really? Okay, uh, one more turtle pickup before we head into retro gaming. This was actually something I picked up uh, in a video a while ago, but I misplaced it, and that's why it's not in the video. This is the Sewer Sword by Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Vintage Collection. Really cool. This is from 1990. Yeah, so this is a role-playing sword. Never had it as a kid, but it's so freaking cool, and I needed to add this to the collection, so now I have it. Then, of course, you all know the NES Commando uh, book about the Pal B full set of NES games, kind of like a prize guide with a little bit of explanations. Well, they've done it again. They've gone and done it again. They put out a new book and they sent it over to me. This is the NES Guide for 2020 and 2021, uh, done by Marcel and Dennis. Lovely guys. Uh, they always wear the best shirts ever. So this is their new book uh, with more power. What, what do you get in here? You, you, you get, you know, a little bit of explanation about what the game is. Uh, and how much a loose car goes for how much and how much you need for a complete unbox one You also see how rare the games are and there's some Some uh, extras in there about variations for the PAL uh, Library so yeah, that's really cool. Uh, thanks for sending this in buddies And I hope to see you this year again because I mean it's been it's been a year you do realize it's been a year. We need to hang out. Then gaming wise, I picked up two Mega Drive games. I picked up Decap Attack. Uh, this is one that was in a video, but I misplaced it. 
just like the Super Sword, and I, 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 I didn't know. Uh, it's a platformer. I love this game. I've been playing this to death, and I needed to get it complete in the box. So that's why I have it now. Uh, another game that, which was actually like, I didn't know what to think of it. This is called VJ Boy. Uh, very 90s game. Uh, it's basically you go around on rollerblades or you're skateboarding, and it's a beat em up. So that was a really nice surprise for 10 euros. I picked this one up, and it is complete. Oh, oh, it's it's complete when I put the manual back in. Then I also went over to the flea market today. Uh, I wasn't really feeling it, so I didn't film, but I did find stuff. I actually found the uh, European version for Phalanx. Now this uh, game was plagued in the USA by a really bad cover. It's basically got this dude with a banjo on it. Yeah, it, it doesn't really do justice to the underrated shooter that this that this video game is. So Phalanx, really glad to have added it today to the collection and our shooter. And there were some toys out at the flea market too. I picked up this incomplete Mumra, but I, I basically just picked him up for the swords he, he came with. So I was missing the big sword. I do have the little one, but this is just another, uh, you know, way of completing my Mumra that I, 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 I want to complete, you know. So that was very good, and then to my surprise, my buddy found a Boglin at the flea market. He was keeping it for me. I went over there, and I picked it up. So <laughs> there we have another Boglin in the box. Uh, not in the best shape, the box, and neither is the Boglin. It's very dirty. He's got some uh, not too good looking rubber, so he's going to need some, some cleaning, definitely. But it's always fun to add another Boglin to the collection. Y y yeah, yeah. Y you know me, guys. I like Boglin. Next! Next up is actually a thrift store find, and that was this loose Nintendo 64. It came without the controllers. Uh, it did come with, you know, an AV thing and the power cordage. Um, no expansion pack, but this model was only seven euros. So I was like, uh, I'm just gonna pick that up. You know, I'll add a, I'll add a controller to it, and then I'll just sell it and have some spending cash for the next conventions. And then I was actually gifted two things, which is always very nice. When we shot the behind the collector with the full set of Sega Master System, be sure to check out that video. Um, he also has a really big love for Jurassic Park, and he had one figure double of the Jurassic World toy line. And it's basically my favorite figure, so Alan Grant is always my favorite has always been the, the favorite in the original Jurassic Park. Um, not sure. Oh, this is the Legacy Collection because he's not in Jurassic World. I think he's going to be in the next one. Um, but yeah, he, this was a gift. So thank you so much, Stan, for hooking me up over here with that. Thank you, Retro Raquette on uh, Instagram. So yeah, check him out. The last outrageous gift that was sent in to me, this was definitely an act of kindness, was by Murphy Bros Collectibles. On Instagram he puts up shows around Washington State and he sent me over a turtle item that I just couldn't be happier with I've been on the lookout for these and to get one of these in the box is just insane so Murphy Burst collectibles thank you so much buddy that, that is freaking awesome this is actually one of the cave turtles he sent in to me all the way from USA um, so amazing thank you so much for this gift uh, it's gonna take some rearranging for the toy room because I, I, I was actually arranging it for the next uh, Toy room tour and game room tour. I'm gonna do but this needs to go in there now um, So this is basically cave turtle Ralph uh, And it's tubular pterodactyl pterodactyl because the P is silent Amazing condition on this one. It even still has the price tag. The Toys R Us price tag is on here, $9.99. Love the sculpts on these. I only have two other ones. I have Mikey Loose and I have Leonardo Loose but complete. This is the first one I have in the box. Um, this is something uh, I, I really like. So um, thank you so much for his act of kindness, uh, Murphy Butters Collectibles. Thanks 
so much. Uh, I'm kind of speechless. This this is so cool. Um, and yeah, this is basically it for pick up leftovers this time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave your comments down below saying you want to win. Subscribe, like, and share the video. And uh, yeah, then I'll see you in the next one. When do we pick the winner? We pick the winner in the next pick up leftovers, which is going to be in like a month or five weeks, something like that. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Or what do you call the evil letterhead when he gets sick? An alligator. What's Ace Duck's least favorite soup? Duck soup. And it just keeps going on. What kind of sweaters do the turtles like to wear? People next sweaters. I actually, I don't get that. <laughs> what the freak?